understanding your programming. You see, uh, all of us were born into beliefs, born into interpretations. We are social and historical beings. And the beliefs and interpretations we were born into, like for me, uh, money is the root of all evil, that has an effect on you. The belief and interpretation that men always have the right answers and that big boys never cry, that has an effect on you. The belief slash interpretation of my father, God rest his beautiful soul, telling me, your mom's a bitch, your sister's a bitch, all women are bitches. That has an effect on you. Now, those are drastic But I'm telling you right now, you've received subtle messages your whole life about what pretty is, about what ugly is, about what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing. If if you heard, what are you going to be when you grow up? Then you were born into beliefs and interpretations. And there's only two games ever happening on our planet, the inside out game or the outside in game. The outside in game says that the cars, the money, the clothes, the booties, the titties, the lips, the injections, the eyelashes, the, all of that stuff, the approval of my partner, the, the, the followers that I have, the comments in my comment section, the amount of downloads I get make me worthy and good enough. And as long as you're playing that game, you're a slave to all of those things. Every one of those things owns you, me, us. When we play that game, the other game, which is the one I'm committed to playing for the rest of my life, which is why I call myself a personal freedom coach, because there's nothing more important than our personal freedom is the inside out game. That game says that I am perfect, whole, and complete, but not finished. I am a unique emanation of the Most High sent here to remind us all of the one truth, which is love, is all there is, was, and ever will be. And so we take mask by mask. We take them off. We dislodge. We chip away at these masks until we can take them all off and sit them down and say, who is left? What is here? What do I choose? So principle number one is the most important one because without that one, everything else we do is some version of a strategy that we chose when we were five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Principle number two is you must decide that it's possible, right? We start with that and then define what success is and then start the process of designing a life that matches what success is to you. Now, going back up to number one, if my decision is coming from an idea that I'm not good enough, that I'm fundamentally flawed, then my uh, declaration is going to be limited. It's going to be limited. It's going to be based on some stupid ass idea that I picked up, that I received from society. So we got to get out of our own way and then make a decision about that. And what do I choose now? Well, I choose to really sit with what would make my heart smile in this lifetime? What would be a fantastic life to live in this lifetime? Because in my opinion, guys, the universe, God, Buddha, Krishna, Jesus, Allah, source, divine intelligence is only and always saying yes, 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 and more yes. So you decide what that yes is going to look like. You decide what the yes is going to look like. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. Yes, 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 and more yes. You guys got me so excited and so pumped. So we, 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 we decide yes in this lifetime. I'm going to experience success. And remember, this whole process, number two, decide, define, and then design, is just to get you started. There's so much that you can't see or even get to because of your programming. But we want to dislodge some of the programming and create enough energetic real estate so that we get on the road, we get going. So I'm going to move to number three. Number three is ginormous. Number three is you must take. 100% responsibility for your life. Everything. Everything that's in your bank account, everything that's happening in your your relationships with your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your cousin, everything that you're experiencing on this planet right now, you must take responsibility for it all. And catch the word take. Take responsibility instead of placing blame. When I place blame, I also give my power to whatever I'm, I'm blaming it on. I'm not saying 
blame yourself. I'm saying take responsibility for carrying it on. There's a big difference between being a victim and holding victim consciousness. Oof. Victim. Hmm. You can be a victim, but to hold victim consciousness means that you, you carry that victimhood into every day and every minute. It's in the fabric of your entire life. It's woven into your life. It's this story that you tell. This is why I haven't started that business. This is why I haven't had a successful relationship. This is why. And you hold it and use it as a, as a scapegoat, as a back door. And I'm telling you that a part of the work is to recognize where you allowed, caused, or pe- perpetuated. Just take a little bit. I'm not, I'm not saying you, you, you let them off the hook. I'm saying you, you, you forgive, you start the process, you start to, the, the acceptance process, and you take your power back so that they no longer have it. Number four, elevation requires separation. If you, if you really want to experience true success, what got you here won't get you there. So you must separate at every level. You must separate from something that is no longer serving you. You have to scan your life and ask yourself, what person what place, what thing, what music, what TV, what social media, what people that I'm following that make me feel less than, what do I need to separate from in order to elevate? Number five is you must ask for help. The question is not how, it's who. Who's already done this? Who can fast track me? Who can help me really go to the next level? And if you guys aren't on my email list, go. I have um, a free gift on how to define and design your life, go to PrestonSmiles.com. You'll see it there. Get on my email list. I got some amazing stuff that I can help you guys with. Uh, Stuff that's easy and and affordable for everybody. So uh, just make sure you do that. Uh, I love you guys. Asking for help is one of the biggest, biggest triggers for me. I've been working on this my whole life. And uh, in 2014, I really got it. Because I allowed myself to lean back in and let my mom take care of me while I got myself prepared. And 2014 was not that long ago. I'm a multimillionaire now. I took a few steps back to take a lot of steps forward. And a part of those steps back were asking for help. I was trying to figure it out just with my own understanding. But the game was not... Like for me to figure it out myself, the game was for me to ask somebody else who's already figured it out. 